A top leader in the Muslim Brotherhood is now in custody as the deadly crackdown by Egypt's military continues. Egyptian State TV reported Tuesday security forces had arrested Mohammed Badia in Cairo. As the group's supreme guide, Badia's role in the Brotherhood is both political and spiritual. He has been sort of galvanizing the public uh, that have been supporting Morsi. And if before the breakup of the big sit-in uh, outside in the Cairo suburbs, he was on stage telling people to continue protesting. There had been a warrant out for his arrest for several weeks now on charges of inciting violence. He was reportedly taken into custody at a Nasser City apartment. It showed this guy on television literally hours after his arrest. It's sending out a message, not just to the Muslim Brotherhood, but to Egyptians in a, uh, as a whole, to show that they are clamping down and they've taken control of the situation. As a key supporter of ousted President Morsi, Badia stirred controversy earlier this summer when he reportedly said Morsi's overthrow was more criminal than carrying an axe and demolishing the Kaaba in Mecca. Early Tuesday, the Brotherhood announced it's named Mahmoud Azat as its temporary leader. Badia's arrest delivers another serious blow to the Brotherhood, which has seen dozens of its leaders rounded up by the army for weeks now. Badia's 38-year-old son, Amar, was fatally shot by police while protesting last week. The Brotherhood is the Islamist group that supports Morsi. The freely elected leader remains detained at an undisclosed location, where he's charged with inciting violence and conspiring with the terrorist group Hamas. Nearly 900 have died since last week's crackdown on Morsi supporters. Military officials in the country have expressed hope that the two sides can still reach a political solution. In turn, the Brotherhood has called for a week of protests. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.